That's a nice looking joker. I should have jumped on this when I had the chance. That's crazy. You can even get an entire diorama. Look at this. The soft goods here bring this to the next level. That looks really nice. Girls don't fart. They most certainly do fart. It's nice. It's actually really clean. When they get rare, they get rare, man. Holy crap. There he is. It's like a drawbridge type deal. Oh, holy crap. I didn't... Wow. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing. All right, it is dang early in the morning. So I'm heading off to uh, Toying Around Con. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. All right, guys, I've arrived at uh, Thornhill Community Center uh, here in Thornhill, Ontario, and I'm going to check out uh, Kevin's Toying Around Con. This is going to be a lot of fun. There's This, this is the first uh, time this, uh, this event's been held, so I'm excited. And uh, we're going to take a look, maybe even uh, say hi to Kevin while we're, while we're there. All right, guys, we'll see you inside. All right, I had to park in the back because uh, <laughs> it's rammed. Uh, I guess there's a lot of people here today for the co toy con. All right, let's head on inside. Uh, there it is. You can see the lineup. Looks like they're just about to open the doors. All right, let's head over there. Yep, there we go. Gotta head on inside. And here we are, everybody. Toying around con. Here we have one of the principal sponsors, E Collectibles. They brought all their gear here. A lot of SH figure arts, Action Force. Visit their website right here, guys. Scan in that code, check them all out. We got some Mythic Legions here. I had a chance to uh, review this with Titan Toys, who's also here today, actually. And I gotta tell you, it was quite the review. We got some Jins, we got some Ogres. We got Animal Warriors of the Kingdom here. Some really crazy stuff. Some of the Cosmic Legions. Look at this guy. He is crazy. Kragnar, Vorga. Nice stuff. And we have some voice actor here, Cal Dodd. From X-Men. We've got some Power Rangers on this side. A lot of... Advertising opportunity, sorry, um, signing opportunities. And they even got some giveaways today. How's it going? Yeah, that's always a really cool two pack. Phantom Menace Classics, Retro Collection, sorry. Wolverine. I think um, Hasbro might actually be here. I saw one of their representatives. I think it's Dwight. So yeah, all this stuff is being raffled away today, so that's really, really cool. Awesome stuff. Then on this side, a lot of great vendors here today. <laughs> oh, Thor Ragnarok. That always kills me. Ooh, Wrecker at 95. Wow. That's crazy. Good price. Wrecker's just going crazy right now. Anybody want a Gennarzo? <laughs> 10 bucks. Just nuts. And over here on this side, we've got some race. If anybody's looking for loose figures, got some pretty cool stuff. Look at Spider Man's face. We got Thelma here. Some really cool. Always great to see these guys. Good to see you guys. Not too bad. Got some anime figures here. Very nice. Very nice. Lots of plushies. And on this side, lightning is $40 each. Interesting price. $25 for Cobra Commander. Not Regal though. We got the Baroness Ram Cycle. Ooh, Professor X95, man. I should have jumped on this when I had the chance. It's a bit wrecked. Hopefully they'll re-release them because I would really like another chance at getting that. $95? Hmm. It's not a bad price, but there's a little, quite a bit of damage on that one. I'm not sure if I want to pay $95 for a damage box. We got Doctor Strange. Ecto-1 for $20. And... Pretty cool booth. A lot of people. Blast effects here. Some key effects. We got Ash, Team Rocket. Great to see him. Pokeballs. Still setting up. 
some plushies on this side. Funko Pops. Pops, 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 pops. And you gotta love it. Action figures. Here we have McFarlane. I represent. Look at all these guys. There's the Batmobile. Very much maligned. One a year, right? All right, so here's what it actually looks like. I've never actually seen it before. Yeah, you too, man. Very cool. I'll be there. I'll be the one videotaping the panel, so if you're there, I'm Claudio. Very cool stuff. Yeah, say hello when you're there, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's a nice looking joker. Look at this guy. Take, or if you want he take looks care, really come cool. Back, I'll give you Very impressive for the joker. Yeah. You also got a very nice looking Aquaman. Again, their statues are, are top notch. I have to say. It's always great to see McFarland toys here. At Toying Around Con. I'm meeting everybody here, guys. Check it out. This is Mark Oakham. Mark, what's going on, my friend? How are you doing today? Just enjoying the toy show. It's crazy here, person. right? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. absolutely crazy. Congratulations to Kevin. Uh, they're doing a great job right now, toying around. Check them out. Uh, but Mark, Mark's a toy photographer, guys. Check out some of it. He's, he's gifting me some of these awesome prints. Look at this. That's amazing. That's the Ninja Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you have another one? That one? No, 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 in front, in front. There we go. Oh, that's, uh, that's, which one? That's, um... That's Vapor from Mesco. That's Vapor from Mesco, that's right. And this probably is my favorite one. Oh, Popeye the Popeye Sailor Popeye the Man. Sailor Man, look at that. They seriously look like real life. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so all my photos are as they are off the camera. There's no Photoshop involved. And my favorite way to photograph them is actually forced perspective. So I take these things in the real world. Um, people look at me all kind of strange, like, what's this grown-ass man doing playing with toys in the middle of the street? But uh, here we are. They look incredible. You know what? It doesn't matter. Grown-ass men? We are grown-ass men. I mean, look at these, these, <laughs> these white hairs. They'll come from anywhere, That's guys. why mine's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your Instagram account, Tom? It's closed, P-O-S-E-D underscore plastic with a K. We'll have that right here. You guys can see that right there. Definitely follow Mark on his Instagram account. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for, for, thank for you this. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. All right, guys. We're at Toying Around with Mark. Thank you. Check him out on Instagram. We got some other dioramas here. Ooh. The rough rhinos. Nice. Love it. Nice dioramas here. A bunch of Dragon Ball Z guys. Very cool. I love these barrels and crates. Tech Toys has a whole collection of these. You can even get an entire diorama. Look at this. The Batman. That's some awesome stuff going on. That's a working light, I think. Love the gargoyles. Look at that. It lights up. That's so cool. That's a great diorama. Only $400 for this. Definitely got to check that out. I got trash bins. Yeah, don't forget, this is Figgy Smalls on Instagram. Check him out. Always good to see these guys. Great dioramas. Got some Jawas over there. G.I. Joes. I got Modoc. Everybody loves Modoc. Icon Heroes. Combatants Fight for Glory. 80 bucks. These guys are cool, man. I'm a huge um, Gladiator fan, so... Wow. That's a cool blade. Marvel Legends, man. Whole bunch of other things going on. Phantom Menace. And then we have Titan Toys. Always good to see the Titan here. How's it going, brother? Adult owned. Omega Supreme. I love that Requiem. Combustor and Assault. $400 for the set of three. Not bad. Of course, we got the Wind Raider. Can't live without that. $390 for the Commemorative Series. Power Master Optimus Prime. Phoenix at $330. That's a really good price. $220 for Skylinks Encore Edition. Very cool. Of course, we got some white labels here. $45 for the Jawa. Bay's Malbus. Got some Mandalorian credit collections. Great stuff. More Power Rangers, Krang. There's that Boba Fett. You gotta love it. 
And of course the vamp. Love it. We got the Dark Phoenix Lovers 2 pack. We got another Lovers 2 pack here with Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Power Rangers, Red Hulk. Stealth Shredder. A lot of great stuff going on right now. And of course, Titan Toys. We have Shenron over there. We got the new Autobots Optimus Prime Commemorative Edition. 40th Anniversary Edition. Carnage, Psylocke, Sheen Grey. Yeah, the Titan booth always, always impresses. They're setting up some die rolls right now. People are just getting really excited for this booth. <laughs> Danny the boss is over there. He's buried. <laughs> Everybody's out tonight. Now we got some more spirit toys. Ooh, masterpiece. Destron Laser Wave. Nice. We got Convoy, Star Scream. All these masterpiece figures, great stuff. And on this side, we got some loose figures here. We got the Scarlet Witch, we got Vision, some Mythic Legions on this side. It's always great to see loose figures. Releasing them from their plastic prisons. Now, this is CJ Sim. He's a great customizer, he does these amazing capes. They're just absolutely beautiful. Seriously, it brings the soft goods here. Bring this to the next level. And of course, we do know that Evil Lynn will not be getting a cape, so you really want to consider one of C. Jessam's capes for Evil Lynn because they look freaking crazy. What's going on, brother? You know, guys, I literally just did a review about this, so I want to put it in the video. Uh, See, so Jasmine did this this cape. This is his cape, and that's actually the one that's included in the figure itself. Brother, can you tell us a little bit about how you how you made that? Because it looks honestly, when I was doing the review, I was saying that it's it's a game changer because of the, the way the way the hood comes over the head and uh, and how you actually put the peg system through the head, through the neck. It was just amazing. So, would you mind telling us a little bit about the the figure itself? So, so I used to do a lot of uh, custom soft goods for Marvel Legends. So I developed a like a pattern for um, for the hood and everything, right? So when they told me to make some some uh, hooded cape for uh, Mythic Legions, I just applied that knowledge to to these to these ones, right? The what I love about the um, the nature of this cape is you've you've, ch you've chosen a, a uh, material which has this wonderful sheen but it creates these sh cast shadows yeah. which no matter what you do if you fold it or if you uh, I was saying this in my review because even if you fold it to a certain level even a harsh light like this it still has those wonderful cast shadows like you see that pocket of, of shadow right there yeah. and it really gives it really gives that illusion that she's it's volumetic you right, know what right. I mean was that something that you planned ahead of time or was that something uh, just happy coincidence um, so a big part of like, making soft goods for, for these is uh, making the right decision with uh, just the, the fabrics, right? And we, um, Eric, to the way, also guides us uh, to what he's actually looking for, right? So we, we have a bunch of uh, fabrics available in our uh, office, and then we just choose from there. It's beautiful. And, and of course, the one thing I really uh, w was impressed with was the way the peg system works with the head, because uh, the way the hood drapes over uh, and the way that you have to remove the uh, the peg and then put the head back in on the inside. I thought that was genius because uh, I, I was trying for like, uh, I think, 10 seconds to actually force it in. And I was like, wait a second, this has to be smarter than this. So I yeah. actually removed the peg and then put it on top from the from the inside. Yeah. And then because it's got a wire right there, you can actually pinch it to the side of the left and the right. And then it just gives this wonderful effect where it's, you know, it's got weight, right? right? The right. weight is, that's the real hard part about soft goods because most of the materials that are used today, they don't have this weight that look, that makes it look realistic. Whereas this one, this one is, is really well thought out. Uh, how did you come up with that with, with that concept? So I've, I've always put some wires wherever I, wherever it applies, right? So uh, back then, um, I think people would actually wet their uh, fabrics just so they would have like, <laughs> these uh, natural drapes. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, like I've seen some uh, tutorial about it, and I'm like, it, 
you, you don't want that, right? No, you don't want of course not. Figures, right? So, yeah, so it, it just makes sense to have some words on uh, this part. Uh, this, this cape is really a game changer. Uh, when I actually took a look at it, I was so impressed. Uh, were you involved in the in the in the bottom portion of the, the skirt as well, or was uh, that uh, something? This was actually a reuse from uh, ah. Ethio. Like, oh yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Also, but this, um, for for the hood, like this is actually one of one of our uh, yeah first ones. I reckon I recognize that. Yeah. So back in uh, 2017, when I made this, like this this is based based off this design. Mm -hmm. So I'm just applying my uh, my techniques to, to the to incredible, the incredible. You can really see the um, the progression between these two, and you know, look how far they've come. Right now, they're part of an actual uh, toy line, which is very, very sought after by fans in the states. That's incredible. You were at Lisa's Con this year. <laughs> how was it? How was it? It was a it was a different experience, I guess. Uh, um, it was it was pretty great. You know, like I've been to a lot of toy shows, but that that's like totally different. Like I, I wasn't really. Um, prepared for that yeah for, um, a, lo a lot of fans coming up and uh, just really being uh, thankful for your work and yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, a lot of people that um, I'm, I haven't seen in person that are like, just coming up to me and just saying hi and, like, it, it, it was incredible it's crazy right yeah. that's so great guys it's been great to catch up with CJ of C Jessum uh, how can we reach you CJ um, cjessum.com or uh, at cjessum definitely follow him on his Instagram account and pick up some of these amazing soft goods you guys won't regret it I mean freaking li mythic legions man this is crazy guys we're here toying around it has been amazing thank you CJ thanks for everything uh, 50 okay you know what that's a much better price but like I said, a lot of damage on this one too. Hmm. Gotta think about it, gotta think about it. I'm not hunting right now, but I'm just like, you know, looking around. A lot of Lego on this side too. It's pretty cool. All right. It never disappoints. World Heroes World. Always great to see these guys. Got loose yeah. and new, of course. Check out the turtle layer, man. That is vintage, if yes, I've ever seen it. Are, Beautiful stuff. And now NECA's making this into like this gigantic thing, which costs, in my opinion, way too much. Group of seven comics. Love the prints. These guys are doing some great stuff. Peregrines, Group of Seven, and this apparently is um, Paul's table, Paul Sung Lee, General Iroh himself. He's getting rid of some of his personal collection because he's uh, apparently only into six, um, sorry, one six scale now. Hilarious. And some really good prices here. These things are, these things are priced to move, man, like 15 bucks. Price to go. They're priced to go. They are priced to go. They are part of. These are from Paul's collection. Yep. He's getting rid of all of these. Yep. He's wow. definitely <laughs> he's getting rid of his black series because he doesn't collect black series. Anymore. He doesn't collect black series anymore, so he's getting rid of all of them. I mean, like these are not. These are amazing prices. Definitely, like price to move, one hundred percent. You missed the hunter. I yes. Sold and how much I sold it for? I know, because uh, I just saw a hunter over there for like ninety. Yeah. So yeah, hunter's very sought after. So. And no, uh, no reasonable offer will be refused. No reasonable so. offer will be refused. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's really cool. Thirty bucks, Jesus. That's a, that's a really good price. It is. Hundred dollars. Some of these are actually worn by him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, that would make them worth more. So yeah, really great stuff. Yeah, a lot of gr lot of fans coming around to see Paul. Look at that. He is just too, too awesome for words. All right. Very cool. And on this side, we got some custom artwork here. That looks really nice. It's even printed on the these mugs. It's beautiful. We have Loki over there. Balu. Adventure time. Some anime. Ooh, Giver television series. I love Giver, man. It's so good. Xeno Saga. Dragon Ball GT. What? Okay, I wasn't expecting to see this here. All right, Master Universe DVD collection. I love the uh, sleeve. Volume one. Damn it! It's almost like volume one. There's never a volume two. 
It's nice. It's actually really clean. Very cool. 15 bucks is really good for that. Black blood. And suits. DC. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good stuff. Hello. How are you? Oh, we got some nice signage here. Check this out. We got Thundercats. That's really nice. Marvel, Nintendo. These are like woodcut prints. They look really nice. You know, it, it's never... You have to be here because it's hard to really convey how nice these things really are. It's actually pretty crazy. Capcom on that side, Ghostbusters, G.I. Joe. Man, that's re seriously, this is really nice up front. And the turtles. Hatter would go crazy for that. His bearded builds, check them out on Instagram. Just scan in the QR code right there. They're representing tonight. Blue Jays. Thank you. And we got some other awesome vendors. What's going on, brother? Got the Walking Dead head pack. <laughs> Complete season. Five disc, five disc set with the collector's heads. Uh, Shati. Good to see. Shin Hati. We got Balin's skull. The, Balin's too short, unfortunately. All three for 75. That's actually a really good deal. It's hard to find these guys in Canada. Speeder bike. Yeah, some cool stuff, man. Yeah. More figures on this side. Comic books. Shredder and Krang. 200. Wow. When they get rare, they get rare, man. Holy crap. You got the Casey Jones. Foot Soldier 2 pack. Really good stuff. Hey, hey, brother, what's going on? Good to see you. Uh, wrestlers of Japan. Yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah, some great vendors going on today. There's Smythe and versus Peter Parker. Nice. Girls don't fart? What the heck? <laughs> they most certainly do fart. I have suffered from many farts from over the years. Some really cool Star Wars stuff here. Oh, there's cable. 40 bucks for cable here. Let's see. Ah, it's impossible to pick him up. What the heck? He doesn't want to leave. I do like this one. They're coming up with a new one, but this one's got a... He's got a really cool look about it. It comes with a lot more stuff, I think, too. See, the, he's got a bath for the Sasquatch. I don't know, man. Marvel's starting to fail everybody. Larry Bird on that side. There's Deadpool. Wolverine. Iron Fist. Nova. Why is Nova so thin here? Holy crap. It's Kid Nova. Turtles. There's the Abomination. The Incredible Hulk. That was always a great sculpt. Holy crap. Look at that. That is nuts. That was definitely a really cool... Cool figure, man. Another Hulks. Great stuff. Amazing Yamaguchi, man. You really gotta love posing if you wanna do a Yamaguchi. Oh, wow. No, I haven't seen these ones. The ATST model kits. Those are hard to find. $10 each. Guys, the Canadian connection is strong. Check it out, it's David. David from the uh, G.I. Joe Classified Northern Outpost. So Jay and I go way back. Way you know, back, way we're back. We talk about G.I. Joe's all the time. He so. passed by me, he didn't care. I grabbed him <laughs> and I said, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, whatever, man. I was like, I was like, do you remember, do you know me, David? Come on. And he's like, oh my God. Like, you made toys. It's all about the toys. You know, you like, got looked down at the toys. Yeah. Like, oh, all people. good, people. all good. So guys, you definitely have to check out that Facebook, the, the Facebook group. Uh, what's the what's the address? Uh, uh, so yeah, just on Facebook, type in GI Joe Classified Northern Outpost. Uh, send in. We have a large uh, group of GI Joe people. If you're looking for figures. You just want to talk about the news figures coming out. Like, come on board. It's a uh, it's a great place to hang out and just geek out about GI Joes. One hundred percent. What are you on the hunt for right now, dude? Oh, what, what are we looking I, for? I got a list. Like it's like like this a lot, man. Um, but yeah, like older like Marvel Legends some G.I. Joe's so yeah I've, I've bought one figure now so I'm uh, still on the hunt so 
awesome stuff. You can spend a lot of money here at Toying Around Con. So 100%, this has been an incredible awesome experience. 100%, 100%. Huge congratulations to Kevin. We're gonna come back next year for sure. Oh yeah. Right? Uh, but guys, definitely check out uh, the, the G.I. Joe group. Uh, one more time, what's, what's the address? So it's uh, G.I. Joe Classified uh, Northern Outpost on Facebook. Yeah, definitely check it out. 100%. All right, guys, we're out of here. We'll see you later. How's it going, brother? I, I, I love it. And of course, here's our good friend Will. He's actually parting with his collection. I can't believe it. It's crazy. You guys have seen Will on the channel before. He's got some lot of great stuff. He's got the Flash Batmobile. He's got some really cool stuff. What's going on, Will? How you doing, brother? Yeah, good to see your collections thinning out, man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> hey brother, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, man, lots of great stuff going on around here. Oh, there he is, the Fire Lord himself. Great stuff. All right, well, take it easy, okay? And on this side, we're just gonna finish off the round. We got some really cool custom caps here. These are nice. Stefano Bove. Are you Stefano? Good to see you, brother. I love your work. This is amazing. We got some Deadpool over here. We got some uh, Winter Soldier. Sorry. Yeah, we got Spider Man, Star Trek. We got Cyclops. Oh, who's that? That's Batman, of course. We got Pokemon. We can't go away with Pokemons. And. Oh, wow. The zone. Oh, my God. That takes me back. <laughs> that takes me back, brother. Holy crap. For you, for you Americans, you won't know what this is. Or maybe some of you probably will, but. The zone was like part of my childhood, man. That was crazy. Superman, The Flash, and of course the Maple Leafs. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. These are cool. One for fifty and two for eighty. These are really nice, guys. Check check this out. Do you have a website, uh, Stefano? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's on Instagram. Yeah, definitely check this guy out. He looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Already made a sale. There he goes. Cookies. We got cookies. Take it easy, And we got some awesome anime art here. Look at these. They're so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Kirby. I know this guy. I know this guy. Awesome artwork, as always. I love it. Like, oh, that's a wicked one. Arnold is killing it, man. Oh, Grandizer. Grandizer. I do cartooning as well. I love it. Um, but I, I, Look at these the beautiful prints. Like right. Some yeah. wonderful, talented artists around, especially Arnold here. Got a lot more anime figures on this side. They want to get in people's way. Very, very cool. Yeah. Some awesome stuff going on. Oops, sorry about that. Optimus Primal, Optimus Primal, good to see him. Look at the Hulkamania workout set, what? That is crazy. Skylanders with Bowser. I love the bargain bins, always gotta love it. You gotta come to a convention, a toy show, to really get some of the great deals, guys. Some Meat and Mayhem Turtles over there. More SH figure arts. It's Boo! 150 complete! It's Boo! Majin Boo, man. Ah, Kira Toriyama. We miss you, man. We miss you. Some really great... Oh, Mr. Sayaman. Great Sayaman. That is awesome. Great stuff. Good stuff, man. Good to see you. Better Ray Bill. Last Ronin. There he is, Captain Rex. Oh, I really hope Tech survives, man. Gotta watch the rest of those episodes. Got Cad Bane. Action figure set special. Wreckers loose for 60. Wow. These guys are just going ham, man. Like, it's a complete set. Incomplete. Omega. Omega. Okay. Omega. Some really great stuff. Look at all these Legos. 
Look at those minifigures. You gotta love it. Not bad, not bad. Kevin's done some great work here today. A lot of people enjoying themselves. This is amazing. All right, guys. Great stuff. This is a great convention, I gotta tell you. Very spacious, I think uh, the space is amazing. It's uh, up here in Thornhill, which I didn't even know that a space like this exists. It's pretty cool. And a lot of great camaraderie here. Obviously the community is coming out to support. And Kevin's really put something pretty special together. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm very, I have to say, I have to say Kevin's put something very special together. I hope to actually see Kevin. I haven't seen him just yet, but I uh, would like to say hi. And maybe talk to some of the uh, industry guys who are here. We've got McFarlane on this side. And of course, I don't know if we'll have time, but maybe even say hi to some of the celebrities. It's probably not likely. They're really, really busy right now. But yeah, guys, uh, I don't know when the next show is, but you should definitely check it out. It's definitely a lot of fun. Guys, you won't believe who I ran into here. I mean, check it <laughs> Look at these guys. First of all, you know who this guy is. It's uh, Kevin Matoy around. Congratulations, brother. Like, seriously, what what an amazing event. I mean, look at look at all these people. They're going they're going nuts right now. They're going nuts. Uh, so, of course, you guys know that this is Kevin's first official convention and many more coming along the way. But look who's here. It's Ryan from uh, from Hasbro. Oh my gosh, good to see you, brother. How you doing? I heard this event was going to be so awesome that we had to fly out there. So we've got Del Machu, uh, we've got uh, 796 Studios, Mario. So we're all here to support the event. And it's going well. Congratulations. It's Thanks. amazing. Congratulations. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. All right, I'm going to spin the camera around because I want to talk to these guys. A uh, couple of easy questions, easy questions. Oh my gosh, guys. So you guys, uh, well, first of all, Amazing to see you here. I right? like. I didn't even expect to see you at all. But I, I want. I want to talk to the man first, Kevin. Congratulations, brother. Like it's been a long time coming. A lot of hard work. Um, looks like the reception is going well. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts like right now? Like, what are you thinking? Seriously. Uh, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> I've been nonstop since. I've been up since seven, even though I didn't have to come here until eight. And uh, I'm just happy that there's. A lot of people, vendors, hopefully get their sell their stuff and fans find find something that they want. Um, you know, there's some great guests. There's Paul, there's Cal Dodd, Wolverine, X Men '97. There's so long lines for, for uh, Paul and Cal. Absolutely, uh, huge lines. And Matt, of course, is the SPD Red Ranger. Uh, sorry, SPD Green, Green Ranger. Ranger. And, Red. <laughs> uh, and like, just I want to be able to do something where get my friends involved, artists, creators, vendors, everything, and just. Uh, give everyone have a chance to prosper and succeed. Yeah. Absolutely. Snacks for sale. Right? And some snacks. <laughs> if, if you want to buy snacks through the video. <laughs> no, okay, yes. And snacks too. I got my daughter running the first Hey, you know, don't underestimate the snacks because everyone needs to eat, everyone needs to drink. But uh, huge to run into right here. Uh, so what's going on? Like, you're just visiting. I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out here. Um, but it's nice to be surrounded by some of the stuff that I've worked on, but also a lot of the stuff I collect, too, on the side. So Ninja Turtles, Transformers, you know, maybe I'll find some old toy biz stuff if I search hard enough amongst, amongst the aisles. Absolutely. Congratulations on all the Haslabs that have been uh, so successful. Uh, these, these, these past, the, the Transformers, like, kicking ass like crazy. And... Of course, I think everyone's on bated breath uh, for the next uh, Marvel Legends and, of course, the uh, G.I. Joe. Um, San Diego Comic Con's coming up, so many different events. Uh, where can we expect to see you uh, in the next couple of months? We've got some more Hasbro Pulse type videos. We actually just recorded a Giant Man update of sorts. Sweet. That'll be going up very, very shortly, depending on where, where you're watching this. Uh, it might already be up. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more and, yeah, keep, keep supporting. The different teams will be at San Diego Comic Con for sure. All the brands will have news, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Can we get a hint at uh, maybe the next Haslab at all, or like I'm just talking no. a tiny, tiny hint? No, Anything? No you... hints on the no. next Haslab. No, oh, that's we've got, okay. We've got more stuff. Let's get a, let's get a, con a convention, convention exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> Come on, let's peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna. We actually don't even have a, have it figured out, so we're still we're still working. Oh, that's we're awesome. Still but uh, great to run into these two fine gentlemen here. Just killing it, guys. Guys, you definitely got to check out Toying Around Con. Congratulations again, Kevin. And that just the that scared the crap out of me just now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again, guys. Awesome to see you guys here.
Titan Toys is always bringing the fire, I gotta tell you. Look at all these great... Oh, the Adventures of Samurai Osagi! Look at that! We got the Kingpin over here. Great toy photography being displayed at Titan Toys. Just gotta love it. These guys are always killing it. Look at those dioramas. There's literally Dragon Ball Z. We got some silliness going on here. What is going on? Chun Li taking on Ken. You gotta love it. Look at, look at that. You gotta love the Budokai. So great. Picora. The territory, my man. We hardly knew you. Actually, that's not true. We knew everything about. <laughs> Such a good time, everybody. Oh, Frey. Look at these guys. Rage. Amazing stuff. I love that, like, green moss grass. Check these out at titantoys.com, everybody. He is a bum. Such great stuff. Oh, everybody's in line. I'm getting out of here. Everybody wants to get into the Titan Toys booth. Such a good time, guys. Guys, I'm here with I'm here with Danny of Titan Toys, and check out some of these crazy dioramas. So, Dan, let's talk about these. Like, how did you, how did you get them? And like, are you guys selling these? Like, what's 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 the deal right so, now? So, how did we get them? Our buddy Shay. Yep. Uh, you can find him on Instagram at Shay.read. Uh, he's the mastermind behind these dials. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, making them for us. Uh, they're for sale for sure, right? Uh, it price varies, but something like this is usually around 200 bucks. All right, let's take a closer look. The man himself, we we, we, we talked to him already before. Jay, what do we got here, man? This looks awesome. What's yeah, what's happening right for here? A realistic stone diorama used look for at like, that. Mythic Legions, Dragon Ball, just about any figure you need. And yeah, just a lot of time and effort, and hope you guys enjoy it. Now these things look like they weigh 600 pounds. What are what are we talking about here? Like uh, they're like next to maybe five pounds most. They're not heavy. It's all pink insulation foam, uh, cut and carved, sweet, and painted. So is this modular? Can you show me how to, how yeah. this works? So each individual piece, nice, are towers, and separate piece here, and then this is a base little Beelzeba. Yes, sir. There. Yes, he is. So this right here, here's the back wall. Wow. So you can make these to any configuration you want then? Roughly, yeah. I just I, I try to get a, st a static shape from yeah. the image and then go from there. And this is the base. Looks beautiful. Hold it up. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, man. So what is this usually? Whoa, easy. What is it? What is this usually uh, run by, and and how long? How long if if somebody was to order one of these? Uh, it probably take me like anywhere between a week, two weeks. It all depends on how big they customize. Sure, it. like this one over here. This one's massive. Like, why don't you yeah, uh, that one took walk me us three, walk us through this that one? Took what? me three weeks. It's like a drawbridge type deal. So. Oh holy crap! I didn't. Wow! And I have this. This is attached by a magnet. So I thought it was can, just a wall. I thought it was a wall. Out. No, it's, it, I made it like that so it can be used multiple ways. You can have it up. Sorry, well, wait, wait. Hey, Danny, pick pick your head through there. <laughs> there we go. This is crazy. Like, have it like this as a climbing wall. Look at that. That's like you know what that is. Like this. That is, that is that is beautiful. Oh my, modular. Magnets. Yeah. The magnets. It. So nice. Just to have it just for a little bit like that. That is crazy. We got lights going on here too. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, something of the Colossus. Um, Shadow, of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus, yeah. yeah. That's what that's what it was. And then you got some greenery here. This yeah, one looks really are, nice. This is one of the older ones I made. This Still, is that set, looks beautiful. Set piece. Want to hold that up? Uh, yeah, no worries, I got you. The set piece, I have a little sword holder there, so you can nice. have for kneeling the sword down. And then some extra pieces just to lay around, some debris. Uh, extra cute pieces yeah. from a... Uh, 
castle wall to keep yep. it all mixed up, or I'll take it out of the bag. Just... So here's a little, just to throw it around, have characters buried underneath it. You can have characters buried underneath it. You can have them being thrown, being smashed with it. All marginally, yep. separate pieces, and they're all very light, separate. It's like a toy photographer's dream, man. Oh, like, yeah, this is that's... beautiful. I love it. And what does one of these run you by, you think? Uh, these ones would be 80 bucks because it's, it's, it's a simpler piece, not that much detail, not that much level to it. It's just all one piece. That's except awesome. Except for the, the moving pieces right That's here. That's crazy. And then we have the fur ray up there, and they're doing like he's taking on both uh, Spider Men. Is this modular too, or is this uh, a couple actual No, that's actual all one pieces. static piece. Still, it's beautiful. I love, the, I love the red hues that you put onto it, a lot of little bit of color there. I, we, sorry, go ahead. And then we have some Dragon Ball. Budokai kind of stuff going on here. This is amazing. And of course, the Street Fighter dioramas. Yep, we got the Street Fighter stuff too. All right. So, guys, these are exclusive at uh, TitanToys.com. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, the guys, the Titans are killing it, man. You definitely have to head over to TitanToys.com. All right, guys. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys. Definitely check out TitanToys.com for all your Titan to your Titan toys needs. Guys, we're bumping it to everybody. It's Kuya Kicks. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Doing all right, Jay. How's it going? Oh, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Now, Kuya Kicks has a channel on YouTube. Tell us a little bit about your channel, Kuya. Yeah, so Kuya Kicks is on YouTube and on Twitch. I primarily uh, do Smash Brothers streams, competitive battle arenas. I also do like Let's Plays and casual playthroughs on retro games like SNES, NES Classic, PlayStation Classic. Uh, definitely want to pull on those 90s vibes. You know? 100%. So how, what are we doing here today uh, at uh, the... Um, toying around, toy toy around, toy around Toy Con. What, 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 what are we up to? Are you showing off some stuff? Yeah, yeah. That's right. So something a little bit different. I mean, Andrew and I from Toy Bacon, we've usually done our prints and our art that you can see over there earlier. Uh, but, you know, gaming uh, goes so well with, you know, regular pop culture, collective culture and stuff like that. I think everyone has grown up on consoles and, and stuff like that. So I wanted to bring something a little bit different as well as when you're at a con, sometimes you're just looking for something to do and not just spend or maybe to marinate a little bit before you actually drop, you know, your loot. So why not come over here you know, play some Punch Out on SNES Classic. Maybe play some Smash Brothers and me, and, and learn a little bit more about the meta and how the advanced the game could be. Um, but yeah, just trying to build the audience, kind of hang out with people like yourself, and having a good time doing it. It's a lot of fun, guys. Definitely check out Kuya Kicks on YouTube. Uh, what is the actual address? It's, they can just scan in the code there. Uh, no, it's just everything. YouTube slash Kuya Kicks, or uh, Twitch slash Kuya Kicks, or Instagram slash Kuya Kicks. Everything is the exact same across all channels. Awesome. Guys, hanging out with Kuya Kicks here at Toying Around Con. See ya. Oh my God, that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, we are out of here. That was Toying Around Con 2024. Woo, what an event. I want to congratulate everybody at Toying Around for an amazing job. Kevin, you killed it, man. All right, guys, I'm heading back to, uh, to home base. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Good journey. Be proud.